what a way to start a video. Me, my drone, and my Nissan GTR. Right, let's kick this video off with getting my new drone in the sky. Now, it's actually quite easy to do, I'll show you. You've got this big remote control here, and if I get you close enough, um, you'll see there's a takeoff button there. Press that, and you slide this across. Press record, and we have takeoff. So, if I switch you over to that camera there, you'll see that we now have a flying drone. Now, Let's go up a little bit, walk up to you. Now the reason why I'm doing this video today, and I'm hoping you can hear me properly, but we've now finally got a new audio device which is actually working. The reason why I'm doing this video today is I want to talk to you about YouTube. going to the gym is good for us and you know if you go to the gym you're gonna get results YouTube is exactly the same you can make a video you will get results and you probably will enjoy it you're guaranteed to get a bit of positive feedback and it will then make you feel like you want to do more videos now I remember about I don't know when my first video was about five or six years ago and I remember putting my video on and it was a hell of a lot of effort making that video. It took me hours and hours, probably weeks, to make the one video. It was on a, uh, a Civic Type R. But I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed the whole process of filming it and making it and editing it. And there's a lot, a lot of thought went into that video. And I remember putting that video on and it got thousands of views and loads of likes and blah 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 and the feeling was a feeling that I didn't get from anything else. At the time I'd set up my first business and doing YouTube videos was not priority but I remember in the back of my head for years on end I thought I really want to get back onto doing YouTube videos. Ultimately I'm a business guy okay I've got three businesses uh, that all demand me seven days a week. The gym I do that five days a week and YouTube I spend six evenings a week doing that and I, I spend a, a half a day filming every week. So I've got quite a busy life, I've also got a missus and a little boy. Something, all of them things I grew up without. I grew up without my missus, I grew up without my little boy, I grew up without my businesses and I grew up without YouTube. But one thing I didn't grow up without is cars. And as I got my camera set up, before I done this video, I thought to myself, what is all this about? What am I doing? Why am I doing these videos? And I think the bottom line is, the ultimate reason to why I keep doing these videos is because I absolutely love cars. I've always had this undevoted passion for cars. I, I analyze cars, I look at them. I, I, I went to one car show when I was a child, one. And that car show got me hooked on cars for life. And Cars is something that, I don't know why, I don't know what it is I like so much about cars. I don't particularly like motorbikes, I don't like sport, I don't do boxing or football or rugby, I don't do anything other than cars. Now luckily for me, my business has got me to a stage where I am daily involved with cars, which is obviously why I do these videos. But there comes a time in life with everything, it's not giving up just need a break. I enjoy it, don't get me wrong. Like I say, cars are my passion. And if I had someone paying me to do this, 
believe me, I'll be doing it eight days a week. Some things in life are a guarantee. You put energy in and you get, you get results. YouTube is one of them things. If you do it, you will get results. And I'm telling you now, if you're feeling like you want to do it, I suggest you give it a go. And I'm pretty sure that you'll find yourself probably in the shoes that I'm in today, feeling like you owe YouTube something. But I'm telling you, it's a worthwhile way to spend your time. It's so satisfying. YouTube, it's a funny thing. You kind of dig yourself a bit of a hole. You start doing it, and then you realize that you, you want to do more, and you want to invest into more camera equipment. Now, I started off making YouTube videos with my phone. My channel used to be called Calvin Fair, me and my iPhone. It's now obviously called Calvin's Car Diary because that's exactly what it is, I suppose. But once you start doing YouTube, it's a really odd thing because you think, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to make add to that. And you get ideas and I don't know, it's really, really addictive. But one thing's for sure with the gym and with YouTube is if you stick it in, you're guaranteed to get results. Sometimes some people get better results than others and it's the same with both of them, with YouTube and the gym. Some people get better results from the gym than others do. I've done in excess of 100 videos. Now I know other YouTubers that have done half the amount of videos, but they've gained double, triple, even 10 times the amount of subscribers that I have. But one thing's a fact is you do get results. This Sunday at 7 thing has become extremely demanding. And as much as I love what I do, I don't want to get myself into a position where I'm disliking my passion or my hobby. Because ultimately, YouTube is my hobby. I do it because I enjoy it. But there's absolutely no way do I ever want to lose heart in it or give up with it. Each one of these videos takes me about 20 hours to make, okay? Generally, I film on a Saturday, and I spend Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night, about three hours each time, making a video, and I've been doing this for over a year now. What I am having a hard time with is the time that I spend making each video. It's such a battle getting a video done every Sunday at seven. Although I see, might seem like through the camera that I'm a little bit stressed, <laughs> I'm honestly not stressed. I love it, I love doing these videos. I just want to find a happy medium of it, that's all. I don't want to find myself stressing about something that I love. I want to find myself in a happy place and feeling motivated to do it. And I think everything in life is the same. You need to find a, a happy place with it and a place where it's not too much, but not too little. And, and, and a place where you are still doing it and still achieving but not stressing about it, not to a point where it's unenjoyable. What I've done is I've put all of my camera equipment on eBay, and the reason for doing that is because I'm gonna upgrade the whole lot. I want better camera equipment, and I wanna make better videos. In the time that I'm gonna have a break, I'm also gonna to learn to use a new editing software. I'm not very computer inclined, I'm not really a, a computer guy, but, I want to learn to use a new editing software. I want to make better videos. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get better cameras. I've also been offered help from a couple of my brothers, a couple of friends in filming videos. So when I come back in a couple of weeks time, I will be making better videos. And thank you very much for listening to me once again. I, I, I don't want to just say thank you for listening to me today. I want to say thank you for supporting me, subscribing to me, and enjoying my videos. Ultimately, without an audience, it's pointless doing videos. I would never be doing this. So I do have you to thank. And of course, as much as I moan about, that was fast. Um, as much as I moan about YouTube, I'm extremely grateful that it exists because it is really, it really is an exceptional website that brings everyone together.